What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be working inside the big shop again today on the first gen project. So, you know, our new thing out here is that we are actually going to be just staying on projects until we get pretty far with them. So again, we're jumping back on the first gen build to continue progress to get ready for our four wheel drive swap. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. If you've already seen in the first part of this video, we got our engine out and now we're going to jump into some more chassis stuff that I want to explain to you guys. If this is something that you're maybe thinking about doing and why we're actually digging this deep. So that's what we're getting into today. But guys, first, before you already know the shameless plug of the video, guys, time is ticking. Days are counting down. Wrenchworks giveaway number seven, the Coors Latte, the silver rig build, the silver trailer, and the cash. You guys hear me say it every video. I am sure you guys know what to do by now. But head to wrenchworks.com. Every dollar that you spend automatically gets you entered. But guys, don't delay any further time's running out the time to get entered is right now because let's be let's be real you've already forgot about it all these previous times and you haven't done it yet so make sure you go to rentrix.com get that done it's humid it's hot today let's go inside let's bother michael we've already we've already been making a mess this morning frank the fork truck just playing mvp of the shop here lately taking off cabs taking off beds and now taking out the engine of the truck so we've got our complete 12 valve engine a lot of comments michael jump in on this michael i know you can hear oh you can hear me now uh, a lot of people commenting about this little this little bad boy right here, the VE pump. Michael also thinks we should stay VE uh, VE power for uh, for quite a while. He is uh, he is he's putting his X and A on the P pump plans. You know, everyone just everyone can do a P pump swap and make some power. Not everybody can spray 10 pounds of nitrous out at a VE and make power. So there's been there's been quite the chatter on the internet of you know, the highest horsepower VE truck. So, you know, you know us, every truck's got to chase some type of record around here. So uh, sure, why not? Why not? Why not add highest horsepower VE chase to the, to the, to the bunch, you know? So we're going to stay VE for, for a little while. Who knows? Maybe, maybe make some damage in the VE world. Who knows? But for now we have stock engine out of truck. So we're more concerned about four wheel drive swap. Here is what our rolling chassis looks like as of now. Also went ahead and removed the the rest of the master cylinder from there so it's not dangling on the brake lines but here we are one thing that i don't think we've talked about and explained real well up until now and the whole reason why we're kind of taking it this far the engine has come out all this stuff like why are we taking it this far well if you were to look at a four-wheel drive truck versus a two-wheel drive truck you can kind of see this engine cross member slash uh suspension cradle piece where it kind of goes from uh, engine cross member up into where the suspension is all connected on two-wheel drive trucks that is much different than a four-wheel drive truck the whole goal is for when someone to look at this truck that it would look like a four-wheel drive truck so we're going to end up changing our engine cross member now you can four-wheel drive swap two-wheel drives without doing this much work and you ha basically have to like trim and cut this piece right here because of the drag links that come across and and so forth but we're just not going to do it that way i've chose to do it this way because it's a little bit more of uh, a complete way of the way a four-wheel drive truck would look so requires to basically lop off all of our two-wheel drive suspension all of our two-wheel drive steering etc it is quite a bit of a job, but that's what we're diving into today. We're gonna to go ahead and take off our BCR wheels and we're gonna to get to work removing all of this stuff that is up in the front. And then when it comes time, we'll go ahead and swap in our new engine cross member. As you can see, none of this stuff is bolted. It's all what I would call riveted. So we're gonna to have to do some work.
on set. Quiet, quiet, quiet on set. Hey, you're 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 making too much noise putting that in the bag. Hey, nice hand motion there, buddy. Nice. Nice handiwork, literally. <laughs> anyway, boys, welcome back. We gotta catch up here. What do you think about the brakes on the truck? I'm thinking that we still had maybe one stop left in, in the front brakes there. But as you can see, look at this big behemoth of a cross member slash front suspension. We got it all out. So this is all out of the truck. We took it out in one-ish piece. We did, uh, we did happen to torch. Hey, by the way, thanks for scaring me yesterday. Oh, did you show them that? I'm going to show, I'm just, rem I'm, I, I'm remembering live time the way I'm going to edit it that I'm going to show them that. Like, just inappropriate on so many different levels. Like, I startle, I do startle easy, especially when there's torches and fire. And we're just worried about making a mess over here. And Michael's just, we did clean up a little bit. We did clean up our mess a little bit. Michael was having a heart attack over there, but guys, we got it out. We got it out. That's what counts. And here you can see we brought in our, I, I would, I don't know if I'd consider this brand used, a little more on the used than brand part on this front axle, but it needs, it needs cleaned up. It does need some love. One big thing that we got to do, which is makes this axle really a big pain in the butt because it was sitting for quite a while. The, the brakes on this one, as you can see, they are, uh, they're locked up really bad. So we need to get this thing to actually be able to roll because right now the wheels do not spin freely and it is a pain. You guys can see on the first gen uh, front axle, on the four wheel drive axles, the uh, pumpkin is on the passenger side, which is different from all of the third gens, which are normally here. So I'm gonna get this kind of situated, cleaned up, but here you can see, you can see the frames. I do believe that the frame rails from two wheel drive to first gen or two wheel drive to four wheel drive first gen frames they are the same they just utilize different bolt holes that are already existing in the frame so uh we're gonna get this cleaned up we'll probably probably spend some time pressure washing cleaning not inside here yeah you're making so much noise over here dude uh but yeah that's the way the frame looks we got the we are not powder coating this frame. You ask them. I already know what they're gonna say because they're not the ones who gotta do it. It's easy for them to say, yeah, powder coat it. Michael wants me to powder coat this frame and I just, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot, boys. It's a lot. Uh, but I think we're gonna leave the rear alone for right this second. Once Charlie comes, we are gonna do some stuff in the rear and change it up. Uh, but for now, this is kind of what we were after. That way I can roll the front axle in, we can get all the suspension pieces mocked up, all that good stuff. We can change our cross member here, uh, the transmission cross member. So basically transmission cross member and engine cross member are now able to get the new units put in after we clean up but torching the rivets out was, was, wasn't, wasn't that bad. Oh, we also removed uh, all the suspension and the steering. Obviously you can see the steering and these big clunky braces here in the front. We got rid of those last night as well. So we got a little bit of work left to do on the front axle. Then I'm gonna call that good. And we've got the other first gen in here. And we're gonna be doing just a little bit of work on that, I believe, here at the tail end of this video. So we got, Michael, we got all the first gens in the garage today, all of them. We got Grandpa Gray Truck over there. I think, I don't know, we might be, st might be, might be sticking around for, our, for a hot minute, I don't know. I don't know, look at that clean unit. Don't, don't lie, you, you, you would like to drive that. You would rock that. I get it, Snow 450, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, let's get back to work. But there's your there's your little mid video catch up.
is where we left off with the front axle. We kind of decided to jump ships and work on the other first gen. We'll get to that. But really, uh, the calipers are still hanging on for dear life. They, the calipers, the brake, the brake pads, and the rotors are just kind of like still one piece at this point. So they're going to need some extreme persuasion, which we are not ready to do quite yet. We actually did get these. I would call them little Allen bolts that actually hold the... Um, the little clips, the slides that actually keep the calipers locked in, which I was surprised that those actually came out. They came out on both sides, which is, I was actually worried that those were gonna snap and break off. So we got those out, but this little slide piece is is just not, is not coming out very easily. So we're gonna save that for a time when we really wanna, really wanna dig in. But that's where we're at, boys, with the, uh, with the black extended cab first gen project. We got our front axle, still some more prep work to do on that, and we're ready. We're ready to clean and get some new parts in. So this is pretty much gonna be gonna be sitting until our man Charlie comes down. But moving on from our axle, we've got our gray first gen here just looking like a spicy unit now. We decided to give this thing a little bit of love, get this thing looking back like a full truck again. Stole the bumpers off the black truck because I'm not sure if we're gonna use these bumpers on the black truck, so I figured, you know what, let's get this thing looking, looking nice. Looking like a nice driving unit. So front, rear bumper from the black truck on here through the 20 inch American Forces on it. Just to give it a little look. She looks good. I don't know, I think we're gonna, think we're gonna hold on to it. Gary the, gra Gary the Gray Grandpa truck, how's that? No Gary? You like Gary? Holy, s hold on, hold on sir, sir. Are you, are you joking? No. You like a nickname? I like Gary. Gary, the gray grandpa truck. Three Gs. All right, Gary. Well, Gary's here to stay. We're, Gary's here to stay for a little bit, you know? All right, so there you go. I, I'm speechless, honestly, now. I'm, 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 I'm kind of shaking. Like, we have a nickname for a truck that Michael actually, listen, Longhorn Larry is a great name. You have given no other suggestions for that truck, so you know what, Larry it is. We got Larry and Gary, dude. All of our nicknames need to now rhyme with Larry and Gary. Barry, oh, this could be a thing. We may have stumbled into a thing, boys. Well, Gary the gray truck is looking good. I'm not sure if it'll stay on these wheels and tires, but we had them laying around, they bolted right up, and we actually had uh, half lug nuts for it. So, there we have it. We have a full truck now. Golly, we just need to get some window tint on this bad boy, get this thing cleaned up. It still, it still needs to be cleaned. It's very, it's very dirty from sitting for a very long time, but, all right, we're gonna back this thing out. Another quick look of Gary outside of the shop. Looking fresh, absolutely fresh. I don't know, ever since we put the, uh, the polished wheels on the other first gen, we got too many first gens around here. We put the uh, polished wheels on it, I don't know. Like, I, I, I dig the black wheels, but I also think uh, polished looks really good on gray. So I don't know, we're gonna keep these on here for a little while, drive this thing around. That is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. We got Gary, our newest named family member, just coming to life here. Excited for that. We got some cleanup work to do left on that, but progress on the extended cab build checked off the list, so super productive. What, what felt like a super productive. Uh, just a lot of lot of things happening. But guys, after you leave here, make sure you get entered to win the Silver Beast truck trailer cash. Go into one of you guys in a very, very short amount of time. Well under our two week notice. We are probably closing in on one week left to get entered. So make sure you guys grab some stuff. I believe our first gen t-shirts are going back up on the website here very shortly. But get entered, go to the website, grab anything on there. Every dollar that you spend automatically gets you entered you guys know what to do wrenchworks.com get entered don't regret it we will see you guys in the next video we have got 
massive 05 progress. Michael has been killing it, so make sure you guys are looking forward to that. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and make sure you guys are hitting the like button before you leave. Comment on the videos, boys. Leave me a comment. Leave a comment, any comment. Are you, are you pumped for Gary? Because Gary, Ricky Bobby is a driver, and so is Gary. Looking like a whole unit. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.